Now on BBC One, let's start this Monday evening with Christine and Matt on The One Show. Welcome to The One Show with Matt Baker. And Christine Blakely. And, and uh, yes, earlier today, <laughs> details were announced of plans to cut government spending by £6 billion this year. Among uh, the savings, the Child's Trust Fund is being scrapped. There will be a ban on recruitment in the civil service and some IT projects will not go ahead. Mm, well, even deeper cuts are expected, but instead of waiting for the axe to fall, maybe we could take matters into our own hands, as Simon Bozeman has been finding out. It could be your library, your local swimming pool, or your community centre. These things could soon be torn out of your neighbourhood. Although the politicians haven't spelt out where the cuts are going to take place, it's pretty clear that many of our local services are going to be under threat. And if we want them to stay open, we may have to take some very radical action. Everything's been cut year by year, all budgets on everything, so... Perhaps it does come a time when they could ask the community. I think it's finding time to, to contribute on a sort of long-term basis. I think it's quite challenging. It may be a tall order, but across the country there are already places where people power is stepping in to save services. Here in prosperous Buckinghamshire, they did just that when the council said it no longer had the cash to keep the local library going. They were considering closing eight libraries. But what they did say was, look, we've come up with a scheme where you can remain part of the library network, so you can borrow books here, and as far as the users are concerned, it's exactly like any other library, but that you, uh, if you ran it on your own, would have to cover all the costs yourself. The local community rallied round with cash, books, and crucially time. Now it's run entirely by volunteers, many of them retired. Without this goodwill, the chapter would be closed. Do you think it was uh, a bit cheeky of the local council to come to you and say, look, we don't want to do this anymore, we can't afford to, but if you want to open it, can you do it? Yes, I think we did, but it was one of those things that, you, you, you know, you sort of bite your tongue if you want to keep the library open, and everybody said we did, that's what we had to do. 